We continue our weekly updates on campfire rebuilding and recovery in paradise today with town councilman Steve Crowder, who is here with kind of an update on what we want people to know about what's happening in paradise and there's a lot of good things happening right now right there are um, the properties are getting cleaned uh, as of uh, right now there's about 3330 properties that have been cleaned 568 that have been approved by the county to rebuild we have uh, 25 building permits uh, issued and 52 applications in and that's in less than seven months. We have not quite reached the seven month mark since the fire happened. Um, also, I know uh, the curfew was lifted a bit this week, right? It was, it's uh, now 11 p.m. to 5 a.m., which gives uh, businesses an opportunity to stay open a little later and a uh, little, little more normalcy in the town. Mm -hmm. And speaking of normalcy, I know there are, are quite a few things on the, on the uh, I don't want to say the burner, but they're coming up real soon that we want people to make sure to, to know about. And one, you were just mentioning Paradise High School graduation. That, that's just huge that these kids get to uh, graduate on their own campus. They're, I've had the opportunity to talk to them, and they're just all stoked about being able to, to do it on their own turf. That's exciting. I know we have the Paradise Chocolate Fest coming up this coming Saturday, and uh, that's at Gold Country Casino in Oroville. And also the Party in the Park, another community event, really popular, and that's going to be happening in Paradise, right? It, it is. Uh, it's going to be eight weeks this week instead of uh, 12, and uh, the Chamber is still uh, doing that, and it's going to be as close to normal as, as they can make it. And that takes part of the community place at the community park across from the police station. Also, you've got a town council meeting coming up in a couple of weeks. It's going to be an important one for people. We do. It's going to uh, address all of the issues uh, and, and options that are on the table from uh, our UDA. And uh, we'll make our, our decisions based on the community input and then direct staff to, uh, to put it into motion. A design basically that kind of maps out the future, how you'll grow, and maybe some safety uh, measures that can be put into place for the future, right? It, it's going to, we've got to balance uh, fire safety and affordability. Very important. Um, and affordability, I know that's something that people have been talking about. But again, if you're at these meetings, you have a chance to weigh in and uh, and give your input and I know you guys are basing your decisions on that. Again, we want to also mention a resource fair coming up June 29th and 30th and that's for home builders. Uh, we got a lot of information. I hate to cut a short our interview, but I know we're steering people to the makeitparadise.org website, right? Correct. And we have a link to that website at Action News Now. Dot com. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for we having appreciate me. appreciate it. We'll be back with more 